Interesting in your take on on the whole document of scandal. Of course, Car Lago. Car Lago, yeah, yeah, which is I thought so, I, Car Lago is pretty solid. But I was like, this is not. I, I thought the same thing when the, when the Donald Trump news came out. Look, he's a former president of the United States. Yeah. He's seen all these documents before. The mm-hmm. fact that they happen to be living in his locked closet at Mar-a-Lago, they act as if it's like the easiest thing in the world to get into. Come on. If you go, you've been to Mar-a-Lago before. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. It, very, it's very protective. Nice. You cannot get around. It's a private club. Yeah. But, it's, but, but Stu, you know this. It's not about the documents. I mean, the yeah. conspiracy theories of me, I feel, feel like they want to make Biden ineligible to run in 2024. Mm. And they want to make Trump ineligible to run by saying that they had these documents. But listen, I don't think a vice president could declassify those documents. So we know that there is some sort of procedural process that was done incorrectly at a house that had no logs, so we don't even know who had access to these files. No. So I think it is a little more nefarious than the media wants to put, but at the same time now, and I think you've had to have noticed this, I saw Joe Scarborough, I believe, on MSNBC said, they talked about how Joe Biden lied in his 1988 campaign for president that he marched during the civil rights. Did you see this? Yeah, viral no, clip? Yeah, yeah. yeah, and they said that his staffer told him, hey, this is fake. Stop saying this. And Biden said, no, no, I'm going to continue to say this. And I said this earlier. This is what's so frustrating is during the civil rights, Joe Biden probably had a thousand chances to participate and actually march in. Right. He was there. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't even have to lie. But his staffers are saying you're lying. So that shows you how big of a liar and fraud he is, is that he probably had the opportunity to march in the parades, didn't, but said he did. And this is something that's happened over and over and over and over again with Biden. Like, and I don't understand it, honestly. Like, I, I don't think it really benefits him, some of these lies. Some of them are no, completely innocuous and, yeah. and, and ridiculous. And, you know, and I don't understand, you know, the New York Times is completely obsessed with George Santos, this unknown yeah. congressman in New York, and, and, and whatever, you know, however and he Santos embellished. is weird, too. I mean, he's a definitely embellisher, but yeah, I mean... It does it, seem yeah. like, yeah, but, but like... The, the amount of focus they put on this guy, who I've literally yeah. never heard of until this started. Never yeah. heard of him. No, and, and for even, you know, forget about Santos. Obviously, there's very weird as he lied about his mom in 9-11. Then there's, like, videos of him saying his name's Anthony DeVolder. But listen, yeah. I think all all politicians have to lie. But, like, even they have Joe Biden when he was doing, you know, testimony and, and for Congress. You know, he said the N-word. He's just lied about his college education. He's not this perfect guy, and they just always run cover for him. But now that the media, that facade is slipping a little bit, and I think that now... If this is the fact the media is like kind of talking about his lies. That's that's the whole narrative. The narrative yeah. is changing, and I think Joe Biden is on his way out. Do you you think he? Are you on the side of this where you think Joe Biden's not going to be the nominee for the? Oh, I, yeah, well, a thousand percent. I mean, I would think Gavin Newsom, and I, I mean, I, obviously there's other people, but I think that. I think it would be very dumb for them to go with kind of another white, you know, like white patriarchy type person. I think <laughs> Kamala Harris is like more of their multicultural dictionary definition of what they want. Yeah. But how could they say no to Kamala? She's next in line. Yeah, right? but uh, she's not. You know, no. she's even less qualified than Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. I, I think she is as 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 cognitively impaired as Joe <laughs> is or as we think he is. Kamala Harris, in my opinion, is even worse or a public even a lesser than public orator. When it comes to, you know, she can't even read a teleprompter as good as Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. Well, that's why we have uh, Veep Thoughts with Kamala Harris <laughs> exactly and just right. going through her nonsense. There's plenty of examples of that. Yeah.